Hi, everybody. It's nice to see familiar faces. It is. I feel like it's been a long time since school started and even longer since Chicago trip for a lot of you. It's really good to see people. Oh, we should have grabbed the picture. Maybe I'll throw that in the slides when Jen gets started. Um, how is everybody's year going? Got a few nods. Good. Darren's got a good. I like it. We're going to give folks just a minute because there were some issues with the Zoom link that we just can't seem to get past. So you're going to fluff with some stories, Corey? I was going to poke at you. That's what oh. I was going to do, Tim. You got a, Tim, do you have a story for us? I, in your I, I got a story. Yet? Uh, my yard died like bad. I'm not like a yard of the month kind of person, but I just want to have a yard that like is functioning. So the neighbor across the street has all the tools. He's going to give me all the tough, do this, do that, use this tool, do that. Okay. So I'm watering the thing today. And you know, like the, the hose is rigid <laughs> and I go to like change the grip on the hose and it like gets away from me, but it's like in the air. <laughs> and I had like so many, and, and, the, and the neighbor was out like watering his yard. I'm like, oh my God, like an idiot. Like I'm getting attacked. I got sprayed by my own hose. <laughs> But sounds uh, like uh what what's the uh yeah Leah's laughing. Uh what's the vacation movies? It's been a long week, friends. Uh with Chevy Chase. That's what it sounds like to me. National Lampoons. Yeah, yeah. There we go. Okay. All right, Allison, I think we can start and then I'll just keep letting folks in. I think that sounds great. Well, hello everybody. It's great to see you all and really good to have you here. Thanks for joining us. Um, I am Allison Moore. I'm on our CSTA board and serve as a regional champion in the South Central region of Iowa. Uh, we are excited today. We have Jen Manley with us. She is on the CSTA, should have pulled up your exact position, but she helps with all of the members and just making sure everybody knows what to do and all the great things CSTA has to offer. So she's here with us today to share about CSTA Plus membership to give us all a good walkthrough of what all is there because there's tons of resources available and uh, we're just excited to be able to have her here to launch the year for us. Anything else you want us to share, Jen, before we begin? Okay, awesome. Well, thank you for being here. Is it me? I get to go now? Ooh, okay. Cool. Yeah, that was awesome. a quick, quick turnover. Perfect. All right. Um, hi, everyone. Um, I will go ahead and share my screen and then I will drop the link to the slides in the chat. <clears throat> awesome. Okay, and we're going to do a special version of our new member orientation. Oh, let me make sure captions are on. So sorry. Let me see if I can also turn them on. Okay. All right, so we're going to do a special version of our new member orientation for you all. And um, what's kind of exciting about this new member orientation is that you are all plus members, right? Yes. Yay. Um, so we can talk about all of the benefits um, that you have as plus members um, without, you know, talking some of, we'll, we'll talk about the basic membership um, benefits as well, because you get access to all of those. But um, I would say the really exciting benefits are for PLUS members, so I'm excited we'll get to explore those. All right, so my name is Jen Manley. I am the CSTA Membership Engagement Manager, which means that I'm responsible for supporting over 20,000 CSTA PLUS and BASIC members um, around the world. Um, I am also a college-level CS instructor, um, and I recently left um, the high school CS classroom back in May to take this job with CSTA. And that decision really came down to, um, I had a baby in the summer of 2021 and um, I just wanted mornings back with my baby and um, teaching high school was really hard for that. Um, I had to get him up at 5.30, take him to daycare and then be at school at 7.20. So um, I'm transitioning to this more like remote role, um, but really happy to be supporting CSTA because um, for me, CSTA has always been 
really critical um, for me to feel connected as a CS teacher. I started teaching CS as a middle school teacher, and I was one of three middle school CS teachers in the entire district. Um, and so it was a really great way for me to feel supported and um, to grow professionally. So that's a little about me, and I would love if you can let me know who you are. Um, so if you can drop in the chat, maybe not your name, because your name is associated with your account, um, but maybe what you teach and your favorite middle of the school day pick me up. <clears throat> doing that thing where it's not letting me see the chat. So I'm going to have to minimize this so I can see it. Awesome. K-5. Nice. Middle school. Dr. Pepper. Yeah. Diet Dr. Pepper is my middle of the day. Pick me up for sure. Scrolling TikTok at lunch. Yes. I agree with that too. Walk outside, love that. Cool. So we're really all over the place. That's awesome. A frozen blended mocha. That sounds delicious. Is it getting cold where you all are? Not yet. We had we had some cold days. I'm in Maryland. We had some cold days recently. Awesome. Okay, so we're we're really from all over um, the K-12 spectrum, which is cool because sometimes when we do new member orientations, it's all um uh like all secondary or all elementary. So it's it's really neat that everybody is represented in this group. All right, so some things we're gonna talk about today. Um, we'll do a very brief introduction to CSTA. I know all of you um went to the conference, uh, or many of you went to the conference, you have experienced a lot of the great things about CSTA already. Um, we'll talk about how to navigate your member portal so that you're able to access all of your benefits. We'll talk about how to use member benefits, um, if you see benefits that are exciting to you. We'll connect you to the virtual community. Um, you are already connected to your local CSTA chapter, but one of the cool things about CSTA, yeah, which is so exciting, um, one of the things that's cool about CSTA is you can actually be a member of other chapters too if you want. So especially after we went virtual um, for those couple of years, we saw an uptick of people joining other close by chapters because they wanted um, to access some of their virtual events as well. And then uh, talking about ways you can get involved beyond um, being a member of CSTA and what we would consider your next steps. Cool. So um, our goals today really are, like I said, to get you set up um, to be able to use all of your member benefits um, and know where to find things um, if you are looking for certain things. So the member portal has a lot of information. There's lots of different resources you can find on the website and through the member portal, um, but knowing how to search for them and find them, I think is the most important. All right, so if you are in the slides, you can click this link directly. I will also go ahead and drop this link in the chat. And this guide um, was updated back in May, which is why the header is May, um, but it has everything that every link that you need um, to be able to access, again, all of those different benefits and resources through CSTA. So that you can think of this as um, a cheat sheet um, and then something that you can come back to if you need it. Great. All right. I would love to know um, beyond because um, of getting to go to conference, what are some reasons why you joined CSTA or um, what you hope to gain from your membership? Um, for myself, um, I love having getting access to the videos and uh, resources that uh, uh, were out there, so. I see networking, community, important ideas. 
Yeah, we like to say that CSTA is the world's largest computer science department. And it's one that a lot of us don't necessarily have in our schools. Um, yeah, yeah, it's a PLC that's CS focused. Um, I know even when I was uh, teaching high school and I had two other computer science teachers in the building, we didn't teach the same classes. So even though I had other people that I could bounce ideas off of, um, I did love having access to CSTA to be able to connect with other CSA teachers um, and uh, programming one teachers because the other people in my school were not teaching the same courses that I was teaching. So networking is huge. Absolutely. Awesome. Mm -hmm. All right. So on a basic level, CSTA, you know, for some reason my chat is not working. So I apologize every time I have to switch out of it. Did this yesterday too. So CSTA, a few things that we're really proud of. We are driven by teachers for teachers. Our driving force is being a voice for teachers um, and giving teachers the ability to lead the conversation when it comes to CS education. We are 100% member focused. Everything that we do at the national level is through the lens of what do our members need? What do today's computer science teachers need? How can we support them? How can we um, make sure that they have access to things that will make their lives and their jobs easier? We're committed to equity in our community and for the students um, that our members serve. And that's something that at the national level, we take really seriously. We've been doing um, some of that behind the scenes equity work um, for ourselves, but I think that the, it's also reflected in the programming um, that CSTA puts on and some of the cool opportunities that um, we'll talk about a little bit later. And then finally, CSTA is a place where people grow. So one of the things that I know I found as a CS teacher, as a CSTA member, is my professional growth without CSTA would have been significantly less. CSTA gave me a platform to develop as a professional development provider um, by presenting at conferences. CSTA gave me the opportunity to grow as a leader by serving as a volunteer. Um, and those things weren't opportunities that I necessarily had access to in my school. Um, and so CSTA is always focused on how can we support teachers in growing in whatever ways they want to grow. CSTA structure is pretty simple. Um, it's like a lot of other nonprofits. So we're led by a board of directors that is primarily made up of teachers. So um, every Every um, few years, there is an election for the board of directors. You can submit an application if that's something that you're interested in. Um, and there's representatives for every grade band. Um, and they are the driving force behind a lot of our organizational decisions. We have staff members that support um, the day-to-day -day function of CSTA. The majority of us are former teachers. So um, another thing that I think is pretty cool is that most of us have come from a teaching background, and um, we're just so passionate about supporting teachers. We have various committees um, that are volunteer-led um, that work to support our work and our mission, um, and we'll talk about some of those opportunities as well. Finally, we have all of our members. So like I said, we are member-driven, and the members are the most important thing to CSTA, and that's you. We have nearly 20,000 um, CSTA Plus and basic members worldwide. So the first thing I want us to do is get comfortable logging into your member portal. So I'm going to do this with you so that I know that my timing is, is right on. Um, but I would love if you could navigate to that. We're going to walk through this and then I'll do it on my screen. We'll navigate to the member login page. You'll log in using your credentials. And if you don't remember your password, that's totally fine. Just click forgot password. And we're going to make sure that your profile is updated. So I'll walk you through how to add a picture and update any information that you might want to update. All right, so if you go to csteachers.org, I'm going to log out so I can log in. You'll see this link in the upper right-hand corner that says member login, and you'll go ahead and click that login. It'll bring you to this screen and then go ahead and log in with your username, which is your email address um, and your password. And again, if you don't remember your password, no worries. Just click that forgot login and it will send you a temporary password.
give you a minute to get logged in. And then we'll talk through some of these tiles. Okay, so while we're getting everybody logged in, I'm just going to go over some parts of your member dashboard. So your dashboard will look a little bit like mine. Um, mine might have a few extra things because it's my CSTA profile. Um, but you should see some quick links. You'll see the ability to edit your profile, which we're going to look at here in a minute. You'll see a link to the virtual community. So you can click this and it will... Um, prompt you to use the same login to log into our virtual community space. You'll see any chapters that you're a member of. So hopefully you see CSTA Iowa. If you don't, let us know. We'll get you added. Um, you'll see your memberships. You'll see um, what the type is and when it should renew. You'll see a link to the store, a way to access your member benefits, which we're going to talk about a little bit later today. Um, and then a a listing of any upcoming events um, that you could join. In addition, you'll see the ability to apply to be a CSHS advisor. We'll talk about that opportunity um, a little bit later on as well. And yeah, so everything you need is linked right here on your member dashboard as soon as you log in. The first thing we're going to do is edit our profile, and I want to just highlight a few places. So I'm not going to tell you what to edit. That's your prerogative. But if you don't have a picture, I would definitely encourage you to put a picture. This will also um, pull over into the virtual community space. So if you're going to be active there, it's nice to have a picture. Um, a few things that I'm that you might be interested in um, in adding or editing in your profile. If you go to professional. You'll see this, this bucket that says professional information. And this one is important to edit if you don't have information there, because if you're a teacher, it will give you access to grade banded spaces based on what grade levels you teach. Okay. And most importantly, um, this is going to, going to be the virtual community spaces. So if we click edit and you click K-12 teacher, It'll pop up asking you for your district and school, um, but the most important ones you want to check is the grades that you teach. Um, these directly will sync with the um, virtual communities. And so if you're an elementary, middle, or high school teacher, or you teach all three, um, this will make sure that uh, starting tomorrow, you'll have access to those grade band exclusive spaces to connect with other teachers that are teaching the same grade level that you are. So that's something that I would definitely update um, if you are a K-12 teacher or um, if you're somebody that that works at the district level, but you would love to be in certain grade banded spaces, I would go ahead and click K-12 teacher because you work with K-12 teachers in those, those grade levels and select um, the ones that are most um, applicable to you. So that is one that I would change, making sure that you have your grade bands. Oop, I better, I'm just going to select all of them. Okay. Um, you can change your profile. And then, like I said, you also can change that personal information. Okay. Um, another place that you may want to change is under contact information. Um, it defaults to not have your email displayed to other members. If you want your email displayed so that other members can contact you if they're looking at um, uh, the virtual community or um, a directory space, definitely edit this so that you display your email to other members. Because I think the default is that it's off. And then the last place I want us to look is under communication. And that's where you can edit your email preferences. So your email preferences um, 
when we get into the virtual community conversation, there are a different set of email preferences for the virtual community, if that's an area that you're actively engaged. These email preferences, though, um, are which emails you'd like to receive from CSTA. So um, conference emails, events emails, professional development. We try really hard to not spam. So all of our um, communication goes out on sort of a, a regular basis, but with thoughtfulness, right? So we do, we try not to oversend emails. We try to combine emails, um, but it is a good way to stay informed. So I would definitely look at that as well. And then the last piece is the CSTA Plus newsletter, um, which it does not look like I can change. So if you don't want your CSTA Plus newsletter, when you receive your first one, you can opt out by scrolling down to the bottom and clicking unsubscribe. That's what I would suggest. Any questions about your member profile that I can answer? I don't have a question, Jen, but this is Corey. And what I would say to the Iowa members also is filling out that teacher information allows our chapter to send targeted emails by grade level as well. Um, so we would really be appreciative if you did that. Not only does that help with national emails, but then we can send out to you to say, there's a K2 boot up training with three spots and we don't have to spam all of you. We can just send it to those grade banded folks. Awesome. So just so everybody, um, in case you missed it when we talked about it the first time, it's under professional and then professional information. You'll select K-12 teacher and whichever grade bands that you are interested in receiving that kind of communication for. Yeah, that's really good to know. Cool. So if you don't change anything else, change that. <laughs> Um, the other thing that I will say at this point, talking, thinking about member profiles, um, is if you ever forget your login, and th this shouldn't be a thing for all of you because you're CSTA plus and you have access to more, um, reach out to membership at computer at csteachers.org, um, and we will find you your login because if you make another account, you won't have access to that plus membership. Um, and we find that sometimes that happens, that people forget their login, and so they just create a new account. Um, but since you have that PLUS membership linked, your benefits um, are linked to that particular email address. So we can always change that email address. You can change that email address as well um, under details, right? You can change your email with login information and your personal email address um, and contact information. Um, but always just reach out to us, and we're happy to help troubleshoot. Cool. All right, so we already went over the member portal highlights, and now we're going to go over um, at a high level some of the CSTA plus benefits. So I'm not going to read over all of these because it's a lot, but um, I included everything because I just I just want to make a point that you you have access to a lot of different benefits um, as a CSTA plus member. Um, some some new benefits that we added this year that are very exciting. Um, well, things that have always existed. You've always had access to discounts and um, and recordings of different uh, professional learning events. And we'll go over how to access them in just a few minutes. Um, but some new things that were announced um, at conference this year, uh, CSTA is now offering on-demand courses that are specifically tailored for CS educators. Um, we currently have a four-hour course and a 10-hour course. And both of those, you receive proof of completing that PD. So one of them is an um, identity in and inclusion course in computing. And the other that is currently offered is a cybersecurity course. Um, those are on demand. And so you can participate uh, whenever you have time to do it. Um, they do enroll in, I think, 10 week blocks so that you have a cohort of people that are going through it with you. But you are welcome to enroll at any time. And our intention is to release at least two new courses a year. Um, so that's something as a CSTA Plus member that you will have ongoing access to. And those PD um, those PD opportunities, those courses are 
always tailored to CS teachers and um, always chosen and created based on the needs of the community. Um, you also receive free registration to all professional learning series events, um, which is something that basic members do not receive. Um, so you get to go to any PLS events for free included with your membership. You have access to discounted registration for CSTA virtual summits. Those are, um, we have one coming up called uh, How We Teach Computing, which is aligned with um, the big book of computing pedagogy from Hello World. Um, and so that is coming up at the end of the month. If that's something you're interested in, you do get discounts um, for that with your CSTA Plus membership. Um, you get discounts to conference every year. Um, and so those are all really exciting. You also have the ability to apply for and receive awards and fellowships, including our um, very exciting, the, this is something that when I learned about it as a new member, CSTA awards, um, along with Infosys, very nice prizes for CS Teaching Excellence. So last year, CSTA awarded um, 10 national winners. I think each of them received a $10,000 cash prize for being a CS Teaching Excellence, may have been $7,500, but it is a substantial cash prize. Um, they award honorable mentions with a cash prize and regional winners. Um, so that's something that as a CSTA Plus member, you're eligible to apply for. You're also eligible to be um, a CSHS advisor, to vote in elections, um, and receive all of these different newsletters with um, more information and um, additional uh, access to benefits. So I'm going to just go over a few of the basic benefits that I think are super valuable and you have access to as a PLUS member. Um, so the first one is this link um, that if you're in my slides, you can click on, which is a searchable list of vetted PD opportunities. So we have a professional development committee and they um, make sure that different PD opportunities are aligned with standards and are valuable to teachers. Um, so you can click that and access that vetted list of PD opportunities. We have searchable K-12 um, and CS teacher standards. So again, these are created and updated by um, a panel, a committee of CS teachers and CS advocates. Um, but one of the things that I think is so cool about it is that you can narrow it down by grade band, you can search by different standard, and um, it's just very easy to use. And then finally, um, we have several of these pages that are just places where you can get targeted resources. And one of the ones I want to point out is the CS for Social Justice resources, um, which give you access to classroom posters, um, ways to inspire your students, and resources that you can use in your classroom. Getting into some of the very cool CSTA Plus member benefits, we're going to go back to our screen and the CSTA webpage, and we're going to go ahead um, our portal and click on view your benefits. Okay. So again, I will click back out so we can look at it together. So to get back, you'll click go back. That will get you out of your profile and back to your dashboard. And if you click on, there should be a tile that says CSTA plus benefits and access your member benefits. You'll click view your benefits. Um, again, one of the things that's so great about this benefits directory is that it is searchable. So whatever you are looking for, you can narrow down um, your benefits based on what you're most interested in. Um, and they're, again, they're tagged. But if we click on one, I just want to go over how it's set up. And then we'll kind of work through a few. So once you click into the benefit directory, it will give you a description and it will also give you directions on how to redeem those benefits. So the first one that we're going to look at is the, um, we'll look at the equity in action summit recordings. It should be the first one that pops up. This is one of several video benefits. So if we click on video resources, you can see all of the different events that you have access to. Um, and what is really exciting about these 
you get access to the 2020 virtual conference, the 2021 virtual conference, all of the different summits that have um, happened in Hopin and we have recordings of. Um, so if we click on this one, for example, the equity in action resources, if we go down to the redeem instructions, um, we have this awesome table and you can filter the different presentations by grade band. You can filter it by the different CS teacher standards. You can filter it by strand. Um, and you can also, also filter it by resources. So you can find um, recordings that also have slides attached, which is really helpful because sometimes that means they've linked out to different resources in their slides. You can search by topic if that's something you're interested in, but we'll pick grade band, for example. So if I pick six to eight, it's going to pull all of the different sessions that fall into that six to eight category, and I can easily navigate between them. So the recording is there, and if there are slides, the slides are linked as well. Um, another benefit category that we often hear is very attractive to teachers um, is the different certification resources that are available to you. So if you are not currently, um, you haven't passed the pra praxis yet, you're not a fully certified CS teacher and that's something you're interested in. Um, and Corey, you can cut me off if this is something that Iowa has figured out because Iowa has some of the best teacher benefits Um uh, I'm going to throw to like Doyle or Tim. I don't, I don't believe the praxis is required for high school teachers in Iowa, but is, I don't know if that's true because I taught middle school. Anyone want to chime in? Correct. No, it's not required. Okay. That's awesome. One less test. I was very stressed taking the seat when I switched from middle school to high school. Um, it was, it was not so fun. Um, okay. So if that's something that at some point you are interested in, you want to get certified um, in CS, maybe you move um, or Iowa decides to require it, these resources are available to you. Um, and again, th these are some of the resources that we find are very attractive to CS teachers because they're tested prep courses that um, give teachers a discount um, to go through them as CSTA plus members. Um, we're going to go ahead and look at another benefit. If you're on the benefit page with me, you can click on all, and I want you to search the word fidget, P-H-I-D-G-E-T, fidgets, either one. It should bring up this tile um, for fidgets education. And fidgets is a pretty cool um, example of a classroom resource for teachers. So if this is something that is interesting to you, you want to um, try out a new physical computing um, tool, CSTA Plus members get a free introductory kit and sensor without any purchase necessary. You don't even give them any um, credit card information. Um, and so you can easily access that. Um, they've given us, they've done demos and webinars, so you can watch all those resources. Um, but you just go down to the redeem instructions, click on the link um, and they will send you the free kit. So that's one of the physical resources, classroom resources that's available, but um, there's a lot of different ones as well, depending on which grade level you teach. And then the last one that I wanna highlight is the CSTA job board. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and click on it. And um, the CSTA job board is wonderful for several reasons. So um, there are schools that post jobs, if that's something that you're interested in, maybe you're looking to transition to a different school, um, but there's also opportunities that are not, that are outside of the classroom. So if you get to the point and you are thinking about transitioning um, out of the classroom or you want to work in a remote role or something like that, um, if you click view all jobs, there are jobs that are posted um, specifically tailored to CS teachers. One of the added benefits of the job board um, is as a CSTA plus member, you can upload your resume and requ request a resume review. Um, and that's a benefit that you get as a plus member.
So if that's something that applies to you, um, I would definitely encourage you to check it out. Awesome. Any questions about benefits before we talk about some other some other benefits, but not in the benefits tiles category. Okay. I don't see anything in the chat, but Corey, if, if something pops up, will you let me know? Cool. Okay. Oop. All right, so as CSTA Plus members, you have access to um, an additional newsletter that basic members don't have access to. So um, CSTA has several different publications. We have CS Today, which is our weekly newsletter that all members receive. We have The Voice, which is a monthly newsletter with CSTA News, original member content, and CSTA Communications. One of the things that we do in The Voice is we highlight um, members, we highlight different professional development opportunities or upcoming events. Um, and it comes out on the first Saturday of the month. We have a special CSTA plus newsletter that comes out um, once a month as well. And that plus newsletter only goes to plus members and includes additional opportunities, events, and benefits. So definitely be on the lookout for that one. We are on Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn, and Instagram. And you also receive communication from your chapter. Um, the next thing we're going to go look into is the virtual community. So again, let's head back to our dashboard and you can access the virtual community. If you're in your dashboard, you may have to, oh, let me go to member area up here. That takes me to my dashboard. If you scroll down and click on CSTA virtual community, this will take you, um, and you may, you may have to log in again, um, and it may already have you logged in. It, it's, it goes back and forth um, depending on how long you've been logged in. So the CSTA virtual community has many different interest groups. Um, and something that's really exciting, is anybody on here a member of CS for All Teachers? They're a virtual community of practice. Um, so CS for All Teachers is um, an existing virtual community outside. Uh, they're not associated with CSTA um, as of now, um, but they're an existing virtual community that is just full of resources. And um, they were formed under a grant and the grant is coming to an end at the end of this year. And so we're currently in the process of um, combining all of CS for All teachers resources into the virtual community. And so what that means is that while the virtual community, one of the the best benefits of it is that it's a place to connect with other teachers around um, the world. It's also a library of free resources. So the virtual community um, by December will be fully tagged um, and searchable based on grade band, different um, CS standard, different CS teacher standard, um, and whether resources are student facing or teacher facing. Um, so if you're not actively engaged in the virtual community now, it's definitely a resource you want to be able to log into because a lot of classroom resources um, and teacher professional growth resources uh, will be available in the virtual community by the end of the year. And it'll be totally tagged. Okay. Cool. So um, the virtual community, you can select which communities you want to be in. So if you click all communities, it will show you all of the public communities that are available to you. Um, like I mentioned, if you added your grade bands today, you will have access to the grade band communities should be tomorrow, might be Saturday, um, but typically it's within 24 hours if you're really eager to get into it. Um, you also can join uh, several other communities. So we have affinity groups, um, identity-based affinity groups. We also have affinity groups that are based on um, like 
career interests. We have a coaching community, for example. Um, we have a physical computing community. So there are, there are spaces based on your interests, based on um, what you teach, and you should be able, this is hard because I'm a member of a lot of them, but um, you can click the join button if you see it, if it's an open community or request to join, um, and that will allow you to join these different communities. Some things that I would love to highlight about the virtual community. Yeah, so you'll already be in several. Um, so your, you also want to look at your email preferences for communities as well. So the place that you're going to go to do that, if that's something that you're interested in, is you'll click on your profile picture, which is in this upper right-hand corner. Click on profile. And then when you do that, um, you can go to my account and go to email preferences. And you can toggle on and off which emails you are interested in receiving. If you join many communities and those communities are active, you may receive digests of those communities. If you don't want that, you're gonna click on the community notification page um, or the opt out list, depending on if you're wanting to regulate your notifications versus completely opt out of receiving emails from different communities. Um, and you can uh, control your communication preferences for the virtual communities as well. What I'd suggest, especially if you're starting to get involved, um, feel it out. And then if it feels like it's too much, go in and um, lessen the frequency and and uh, remove yourself from any list you don't want to be on. Cool. All right. So now the part that you all already have um, taken advantage of, which is wonderful, you have a very strong local chapter in Iowa. Um, I'm not going to say it because it's recorded, but uh, one of the top chapters in CSTA, very active, uh, very engaged, um, and really your leadership is so focused on doing what is best for teachers um, and providing opportunities and events that are aligned with what teachers need, which is so awesome. Um, but our, our chapters are the lifeblood of CSTA. In my opinion, it is one of the greatest benefits of CSTA because again, it is so hard to find PLC in your school sometimes. Um, and tapping into that local community is really beneficial, um, especially if you're feeling kind of low sometimes, you know, school, teaching is hard and it's nice to be connected with others. So the goals of our chapters are to build community, provide professional development and support, and establish our operational focus. Um, so making sure that chapters operate effectively and provide the services that our members need. Um, you already are in a chapter, which is wonderful, but if you maybe live on a border or you have always wanted to go to Hawaii and you want to see what the CSTA Hawaii chapter is up to, um, you can join a second chapter or a third chapter by going to the find your chapter page. Um, and once you get um, to that page, you can search by state, you can search by address or region, and you can join the chapter so you're on their email list and you're getting notification about their different events. Um, when chapters have open events, many of them also list them on the CSTA webpage and we'll go over how to find that in a moment. So you don't have to be a member of other chapters sometimes to take advantage of their events, especially if they're virtual. Speaking of events, um, so there are lots of different types of events that CSTA offers. Um, all of you or most of you went to conference, which um, is just, in my opinion, is like this like big burst of energy because you're just surrounded by so many other passionate educators um, who are all invested and excited about CS education. Um, but there are lots of other events that we offer that are not conference. So if you click on this searchable events link, you will see, and there's a good one, right? Western Mass. None of us are in Western Mass, but if um, the Teach Boldly book study is something you're interested in, that's something that they are they have open to everybody, and you can join that event. 
Um, and you can sort these events by, um, you can search by tag, you can search um, by date. So you can pick specific windows. You can search by chapter. So maybe you wanna see what your chapter is doing. Oh, is it gonna let me search? Yes, it is. Maybe it's not. Oh, Iowa has your own tag though. So you can click Iowa. There you go. Virtual chapter meeting. Um, this is also where you'll find affinity group meetups um, will be listed here. Um, any sort of PLS, which again, those professional learning series. So if you scroll down, we should see professional learning series. So these professional learning series events, um, there's two coming up, differentiation in CS education and strategic recruitment to CS classes. These are free to CSTA plus members um, and you have access to those as well. Um, other things that you have access to as a CSTA plus member, you can advise a CSHS chapter. So CSHS is the Computer Science Honor Society. We have over 300 chapters of CSHS um, that have been chartered since CSTA took over um, CSHS from Code VA uh, a few years ago. But this is a wonderful way to recognize students. Um, one of the things that differentiates CSHS from other honor societies is that at the national level, there is not a GPA requirement. So it, it exists for you to make it, um, to define what honor means in your school. So some schools um, are very focused on the service component. Um, and, and it's a way to recognize students for their participation in CS um, coursework, while also giving them the ability um, to serve and to do things to further CS education. And Jen, so a, yeah, this for the high school teachers, if you are teaching in the CTE pathway, there is a requirement that you have a club. And we have confirmation from our DE representative, Justin Lewis, who couldn't join us tonight, but if you host a CSHS, that can count as your CTE. I think it's information systems officially. Again, I'm going to look at Doyle, but um, you can count this as a club. So this would be a great way to take advantage of your member benefits and honor the work your kids are doing. Oh, I love that. That's awesome. And something that's really exciting, if this is something that you take on this year, um, is that we are offering a our first ever CSHS Leadership Summit. It'll be virtual um, in February, um, and that will be an opportunity for both students and advisors, um, again, focused on like helping them develop leadership and also, you know, best practices for operating their CSHS chapter. So if that's something you're interested in, please reach out to me. Um, this is one of the programs that I oversee. All right, other ways that you can engage with CSTA beyond your classroom. Um, you are already supporting our equity work with a CSTA plus membership. So thank you so much for that. Um, you can become a chapter leader if that's something that you're interested in. Um, I know once that timeline comes out for this year, um, you will get emails about it. Definitely apply for an award or nominate others for an award. Um, you can also serve as a reviewer to help award deserving teachers for their work in CS education. And then finally, um, we have a variety of different committees and you are welcome to sign up um, for different volunteer roles through our, our Engage page. So right now um, we just finished selecting Sorry, our committee. I can't only call. We just finished selecting our committees for this year, but our Engage page is always open. And if that's something that you're interested in, definitely express interest and we follow up throughout the year with different opportunities. All right, so I am going to give you some next steps and then I will answer any questions that you have. Um, so the first thing that I wanna say is that we find that um, Teachers who are most excited about their CSTA membership are the ones who attend events. So the fact that you are here, the fact that you went to conference um, means that you are 
tapping into some of the best stuff that CSTA has to offer, and that is the community. So what's next? Um, see if there are other events that are interesting to you, whether it's professional development or networking in terms of an, an affinity group. Um, there's a virtual summit, like I said, coming up at the end of this month. Um, so that might be something that you're interested in. It's pedagogy focused. If you need any support with your membership, you have um, any issues, you can't get logged in, you can't access different benefits, please email us um, at membership at csteachers.org. We monitor that email um, every day and we have about a 48 hour turnaround on emails. Um, so we will help you. We want to make sure that you can use all of the benefits that we have for you. Um, look into a volunteer role if that's something that you're interested in. And then finally, um, take advantage of the resources. So the quality professional development, looking at the CS standards, or perusing the virtual community um, to see what resources exist there. Um, there's definitely things that will help you as you teach CS. And with that, I will stop talking so much and open the floor. Um, but I really appreciate you all being here today. And I really appreciate you being a CSTA member. Um, it's the best, but it's only the best because uh, we have really passionate CS teachers who are all committed to doing what's best for kids. Thanks so much, Jen. We really appreciate you joining us. We know it was a crash course, so I'm gonna let you process. If you have questions, feel free to unmute yourself or to put them in the chat, pretty please. Um, but please know that this recording is gonna go up on our YouTube channel so you can go back and rewatch it um, or always reach out. And then if, you're, um, if you are someone that doesn't already have a CSTA Plus membership, the folks that went to the conference on scholarship this summer are lucky enough to have that be included. But if you're someone that doesn't have it, it is $50 a year. Uh, $10 of that comes back to our chapter for us to continue to do good work like the scholarships and other PD. Um, and you can talk to me or Allison um, or Sabrina Doyle's on here. We have a lot of our regional champs. There's different ways your district can pay for this. So um, like my work pays for me to have my CST Plus membership. So if you need ideas or ways to get that covered, we're happy to help you. And at the national level, um, if that's something that you need um, and you've you've looked into the local resources and, and you still need a, a way to pay for a CSTA plus membership. Um, Amazon Future Engineer sponsors CSTA oh. plus memberships, um, and you'll get access to other curricular resources and communities as well. Um, but we're happy to help you get signed up for that and have your CSTA membership, CSTA plus membership um, fully comped. There's a great bundle right now too with the CSTA plus membership with two events, I believe. Okay, like the... so hold on. Here's a here's yep. an awesome segue, Erin. Jen, okay. can I share my screen pretty please? Do you mind? So before you do that bundle, here is what I want to share with all of you. This was the big announcement that we teased. So like everybody do a drum roll at your house to really freak out your family and your pets. Uh, CST Iowa is super excited to tell you that if you have a CST Plus membership, which is a lot of the people on the call today, I'm going to skip this. Oh, well, that's just a mess. Here, hold on. There we go. Uh, we're, if you have a CST Plus membership, you can attend the How We Teach Computing Summit for free if you attend a watch party. So here's what's going to happen. We were all so excited at the National Conference to be together that we thought it would be awesome if you could get together at your in regional small groups to attend the virtual summit face-to-face -face with other Iowa teachers. So I'm gonna click this. Here's what's gonna happen. If you sign up to go to a watch party, I will zoom in. So, oops, that's out, Corey. I'm gonna zoom in so you can see the locations. If you go to a watch party, CST Iowa will pay your registration fee. So you get to go for free if you come to be with friends. So if you already did the bundle, this doesn't apply. You're gonna email me and I will help you figure it out with our friends at CST National. Jason and Dana have been awesome contacts already. But we're hoping that we can get you all to come out and join us. And as long as you come face to face, 
we will pay for it and it'll be free for you. So um, we're also really excited that um, Ben Schaefer, who's one of our board members, has been working really hard. And we have regional champions across the state now, like Allison and Sabrina, Doyle's on the call, Wendy's on here, lots of familiar faces that are going to um, help to host local events for you like these watch parties. So I just want to publicly express how grateful we are for those regional champions that are doing really good work with their local groups. If you're lucky, maybe they'll host something at a brewery or a bar coming up soon. That would be even better, right? Um, but so uh, this link will take you to our page. The caveat here is you are gonna have to register twice. You'll register with us on the CSTA Iowa site to tell us what location you're going to. And then we will send you a registration code so that you can register with national, but it will be free to you. As long as you have a CSTA Plus membership, feels like a good reason to get a friend to get a CSTA Plus membership to join us. And then they get a discount on lots of other stuff. Let us know if you have questions about that. We're really excited about it. We'll send out email with links and more information too. So um, other things we just wanna make sure that you know about, Midwest is Best is a CS Unconference that's gonna be virtual next Saturday. 10 of the Midwest chapters, including CST Iowa are bringing it to you. There'll be anchor sessions all about integrating computer science and there will be sessions specifically for pre-K to 12 teachers. So Henry's on with us. Henry's been an awesome support with that work. Uh, we'd love to have you join us for that. Our next CSTA chapter meeting is November 17th and we will talk about all the good work happening around CS Ed Week and resources for you. Um, and then if you aren't already planning to go to, to iTech, which is November 7th and 8th. This is the first time ever CSTA Iowa is hosting a featured speaker, Daphne Allison. I can't say her last name. Help me. Lori Randall might be able to. Lori, are you still in here? Yes, I am. Daphne McMenemy. Here we go. Thank you. So Lori's going to come introduce her for me at the conference so that okay. we can say it correctly. I Daphne will do that. That would be awesome. Daphne is going to join us and do sessions for pre-K to eight computer science integration. And then we have three dedicated rooms with over 30 sessions solely about computer science. It's amazing. We hope that you will come join us. We'll have a table. We have lots of swag and t-shirts for you. So um, hopefully you'll be able to join us in Des Moines. There's a link with the schedule and registration here so that you have it. And then finally, Allison and I are going to offer a course where you can get a license renewal credit for attending our virtual meetings, the summits. If you did that CST plus course, the self-paced course that Jen mentioned today with your benefits, that would count. So uh, it's a way for you to attend all this good computer science work and get one license renewal credit. Our friend Ann Carver did it last year with us. Uh, pretty awesome way to get a license renewal that's related to the work you do. I don't know about you, but I take a lot of courses that aren't necessarily related to what I teach every day to get my license renewal credit. So our hope is that we can provide you a meaningful license renewal credit with this work. Uh, Allison and Sabrina, did I forget anything else? The rest of the stuff is for you. Like if you didn't know we have a Twitter account, we have a YouTube channel, we have a website. We're trying to have resources for you to help make your job easier. So all those links are there. Um, someone in the chat has asked, if you're hosting the party, do you sign up for the event? Absolutely. And you use the code so that it will be free. So please sign up if you're gonna host. So thank you, Chris Bailey's on here. She's gonna be hosting. Thank you, Chris. I can't tell if you're tired or you're just in awe of all of the amazing information we've shared tonight. Okay, uh, I will stay on and if anyone wants to chat or talk, but we know it's past the end. So thanks so much for joining us. Thanks to Jen for giving up her time and leading the learning. We really appreciate it. And we hope that we'll get to see you soon. Take care, everybody.